The U.S. Army Asymmetric Warfare Group hosted a ribbon-cutting ceremony to celebrate the completion of its Asymmetric Warfare Training Center January 24th at Fort A.P. Hill, Virginia. Participants included state and local officials from Virginia, representatives from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and Training and Doctrine Command, and various others who attended to witness the historic event. Construction began on the complex about two years ago. So when you think about the transition that we're going to go through here, it is to transition from an army of execution, doing what we've got to do, to an army of preparation to be ready uh, for what comes next. That's where the importance of this facility really comes in. The Asymmetric Warfare Training Center is located on 300 acres and consists of a unique urban complex outfitted with an embassy, bank, underground subway and train station, helicopter landing zone, and other structures that can be transformed into a variety of scenario-driven facilities. Complete with an indoor firing range, a known distant range, and outdoor mobility range, the $96 million state-of-the-art facility provides a location for the AWG to replicate complex operational environments and develop solutions, which include exploring adaptive tactic techniques and procedures. The Asymmetric Warfare Training Center is uniquely suited to support AWG's solution development efforts. This is a place uh, where we can be creative and you can come up with solutions for problems that we don't even know we have yet. From the Asymmetric Warfare Group Public Affairs Office, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Lombaca.